BBC One, the news in London and the South East with Mike Emberley and Gwenan Edwards. Just six weeks to the big night, now MPs demand changes. They want the Millennium Fund to last all night, but is it all too late? Also tonight, the kidnap and torture of a sex shop worker. Was it linked to a drugs feud? Welcome to the program. Well, just when you thought London's big night, the Millennium Celebrations, was on target, at last, an influential group of MPs has put a last-minute spanner in the works. The Culture Select Committee said today the decision to wind down the festivities at 2 a.m. on January the 1st was blinkered. The MPs want the plans reviewed urgently. Well, Paul Curran is by the Thames, where well, it's all due to happen. Paul. Well, the London Eye is due to... Gagia Patel reporting there. Well, just time if I take it at a fast trot. Before we go for a look at the top stories in London and the South East tonight, MPs have demanded major last-minute changes to the Millennium celebrations. They've condemned plans to wind up the party at 2 a.m. and say London's big time should go on all night. Detectives believe the kidnap and torture of a Soho sex shop worker may be related to a drugs feud. The man had two fingers cut off. That's all about we have time for tonight. Gosh, I'm stumbling now. I can't talk I can't properly. Sympathise. <laughs> Back to you now for the national and international headlines. <laughs> bye bye. The Conservatives have been under pressure to give more details of their fundraising activities.